We know returning to school is a big decision. There are a lot of things to consider before deciding to apply. If you choose to move forward with applying to Oregon State eCampus, there are several key steps to take care of after you are admitted. You will want to move through this list as soon as possible after you receive your letter of admission. Once you are admitted, OSU eCampus has a team of student success counselors that are here to help you along the way. We want to help make sure you feel comfortable and confident starting your first term here with us. So let's get started. One of your best resources is the Getting Started Guide, which includes the steps I'm about to outline for you. There are additional steps that you will need to complete that are not covered in this video. You can access this guide from the eCampus homepage under the Current Students tab. From there, you will click on Newly Admitted Students, and it will be the first thing on the page. Select the guide that corresponds to your student type. Step 1. The first thing you will need to do is set up your Oregon State Network Identification, or ONID, account. You will use this username to access almost all of OSU systems. To set up your ONID, visit onid.oregonstate.edu. On the left side, click on Sign Up for ONID. You will need your student ID number. Your ID number is printed on your letter of admission that you received from the Office of Admissions. If you are having trouble finding it, you can contact the Office of Admissions at 541-737-4411. Next, enter your birth date and your first and last name. Once your information is verified, you will be able to create your password. If you are planning to use financial aid, you will need to fill out the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA. See the links in Step 2 of the Getting Started Guide to fill this out. If you are not planning to use financial aid, proceed to the next step. Step 2. Next, you will need to pay the ATD, or the Advanced Tuition Deposit. This is a $200 deposit that helps secure your spot and signals the Office of Admission to articulate any transfer work you have. Visit admissions.oregonstate.edu backslash instructions dash paying dash your dash ATD for step-by-step -step instructions on how to pay the deposit. It's important to note that there are some student populations who are exempt from paying the ATD. Step three. The next thing you need to do is complete the eCampus online orientation, which is a tool that helps you start the advising process. It is a brief overview of policies and procedures that helps you get a better sense of Oregon State and what it will be like to learn online. To find the eCampus online orientation, you will refer to the Getting Started Guide, Step 5. You can also select the link to the online orientation from the menu bar on the right side of the screen. Step 4. After you have successfully completed the online orientation and paid the ATD, you will meet with your academic advisor. A confirmation email will be sent to your ONID email account once you complete the online orientation, with information on how you will set up an appointment with your specific advisor. Keep in mind, for some majors, you are expected to call the advising office and set up an appointment. All contact information you need will be included in the attachment in the confirmation email. It is important to know that as we get closer to the start of classes, advisors tend to have a longer turnaround time on scheduling appointments, so make sure to schedule with them as soon as possible so you are able to enroll in the classes you need. Step 5. After you have met with your advisor, you will need to register for courses. If you find this process difficult, you are not alone. To help you through this process, we created a step-by-step -step video guide that will walk you through the process of registering for classes. You can find that video by visiting ecampus.oregonstate.edu backslash services backslash registration. For reference, you will want to review the tuition, fees, and billing page to learn important information about cost and when you will be required to pay. Refer to Step 9 in the Getting Started Guide. If you would like an Oregon State ID card, refer to Step 10. The last two steps are not included in the Getting Started Guide, but will help you feel prepared when classes open on the first day. Step 6. Once you have registered for your courses, you will need to order your textbooks. We recommend you purchase your textbooks and other materials before classes begin to help ensure a smooth start. Visit the Oregon State Bookstore website 
at osubeaverstore.com backslash academics to find out what materials are required. Step seven, you have your class schedule, textbooks ordered, and are ready to get started. We know most students are excited, anxious, and nervous about beginning classes at a new school. As an additional layer of support, first term students are enrolled in a free Canvas learning community. Canvas is Oregon State University's learning management system where you will access your courses and connect with your classmates and instructor. Take some time before the first day of class to peruse the content in Canvas. You can log in by going to the main services page at main.oregonstate.edu and clicking on Canvas. The success site will help you gain familiarity with Canvas and give you a chance to practice posting in the discussion board prior to the first day of class. And no need to worry, there is no grade in this course. It's just a helpful tool we have created for you to use as you wish. If you have any questions before, during, or after you have completed these steps, please feel free to reach out to the eCampus Student Success Counselors by email at ecampus.success at oregonstate.edu. Welcome to Oregon State and good luck on your first term here. Go Beavs!